Well, that's all she wrote, folks. You seen Jacksonville police chief. He made that announcement in that interview. And I told you guys when it happened when Fulio got killed, bro, I'm a Tampa baby too. Not born in Tampa. I'm born in Broward County, but I live in Tampa. You feel me? In that area of the hotel, across the street, bro, that gas station that's right there, by the little cut, the duck off, everybody know what a duck off is, don't ask me. But by the little duck off, they already got the vehicles, they got niggas running through there, and I guarantee you one of you stupid niggas don't put your mask down, one of you dumb niggas was brazen, being cocky in a bit. You feel me? Y'all use multiple vehicles, everybody heard the audio of the scat patch, Everybody pretty much knew what went down with that situation. We don't got to sugarcoat it no more. So with Young and Ace, name being enthralled into this, we don't know who killed who or who did what. What we do know is when a police chief goes out and he says these things, bro, they got y'all. It's every goddamn shooting. They got you niggas. You niggas done crashed out. Message to the killers out there. I don't give a damn about you niggas being mad at me. I'm the least of you niggas worry. I ain't 12. I ain't trying to lock you niggas up. But I'm not crying for you dumbass niggas neither, bruh. All these bloggers trying to be you niggas friends for an interview. You niggas is F-boys, bruh. Keep far away from me, bruh. Niggas done crashed out for another nigga to tell them to crash out. And majority of you niggas crashing out for the head honcho, you ain't got nothing to do with the nigga you killing. You just a bitch and you D-riding. Your kids hate you. Your family hate you. You're unproductive to any community that you could be put in. So the most high needs to wipe all you niggas out. I'm satisfied with that. Wipe every single one of these cancer cells out of our communities, bruh. Niggas shooting indiscriminately. You don't care if you hit kids, nobody. Rounds could ricochet. And then, bruh, I'm a military nigga. I, I deserve a right to say this to you whole ass niggas, bruh. Who the hell gave you niggas these switches, bro? If you ain't trained in the art of war, you ain't trained in weapon, weaponary, you not getting down to down with your new girlfriend, which is that weapon you got. You not learning the systematics of it, how to properly shoot. Get your weak ass out the way or go join the law enforcement and learn. Go join the military at least and learn, bro. All you scrubs out here yapping because you can merc somebody, make you more gangster. Bro. I'm not gangster. That's the point. I'm a goddamn human being, a beautiful melanated brother that feels hurt. When his people ain't here, that shed tears that time when we get knocked off. Because I shed tears knowing that, damn, look at all these soldiers we losing. We got a real war, and every nigga is afraid of the real war, but they ain't afraid to murk each other, bruh. You probably like, bless one, you be preaching. Same nigga getting mad at me preaching. First of all, my pops a pastor. Why wouldn't I preach? My entire lineage comes from the tribe of Levi's. We preach, bro. That's what we do. God... Looked at the prophecies and said, I'm going to be a preacher, nigga. That's what I am. I'm a street preacher, bro. Why wouldn't I preach, bro? I go home and I kiss my kids and I love them. And I'm supposed to be daddy. I trying to represent for you whole ass niggas. All you niggas who murk Julio Fulio, they got y'all already. The difference is niggas hesitate and wait before they lock y'all up because the state see a reclusive situation and an advantageous situation, bro. Should we get them now or wait for more? They got one worm, nigga. It's always the weakest link in your little weak click, bro. That nigga already flipped and told everybody without even talking to the cops. They got voice messages. They got your text messages. They pinning everything, bro, through the vehicle. They don't even have to know who the hell was in the car, bro. How you niggas don't know about technology? I don't care if you had three masks on your face. You niggas is dumb, bro. Dummy, dummy, dumb. You go to a tourist place. We all know that area on Temple Terrace over there, bro. Tam Everybody know Tampa is the new South Beach. They done, because of all the new construction down there in Tampa, all the new military type of scale of technology been implemented in the um, uh, uh, street lights, street corners. They don't need any person to give them videotapes. Number one, they got all the videotapes they need of the shooting. You niggas is dumb if you don't think within the first two hours when they arrive, they already got the tape footage. And that's not the one going to bring y'all down. The tape footage is just so they can know which way you shot, which round, so when the court case happens, they can explain that part. What they do is track, nigga. They don't even have to do work no more. This ain't 2002. Once the Patriot Act was implemented because of that educational purpose 9-11 situation, they done beefed up on everything that they already had in the 80s that they never released to you guys. Because every technology you see them come out with, they had it about 50 or 60 years uh, I'm going to say allegedly because y'all going to say misinformation. So allegedly, 
Bro, you see these technology, they don't got you niggas, bro. And you same niggas are gonna be like, oh, they snizz. No, you crashed out. That's the beautiful word our community ever created, the crash out. I love that word, bro. It's something that needs to be studied. A nigga got everything that God could give him. He got a beautiful life. He may not be rich, may not even be a thousandaire, but your kids make you rich. Your beautiful family make you rich, but you got a glitch in the system. You became a glorious servant because our forefathers were servants. So now you serving some other weak head honcho who give you who you give a call to and he tell you what to do. And you proud of that. How can you even get it up down there in your pants to go smash your chick knowing you a do boy for this other nigga? Oh, they gonna give me bread. The bread ain't never enough because you niggas gotta split that bread that they give y'all. I'm sorry. I'm going to the duck situation too. Niggas, about a million of you niggas splitting a hundred thousand dollars and people talking about that's a lot of money to a nigga that ain't got nothing. You dumb. I don't wanna curse, man. You weirdo nigga. That's not a lot of money, bro. After you subtract it and you calculate the amount of money you niggas have to split, you'll probably barely get ten thousand dollars each, right? Or maybe worst case, 15000 Look at the court case you done caught. Look at the liability of your life. That's worth it to you, niggas. I always see you niggas riding that. Bro, you, you don't understand. These niggas take the money because they don't got it. To you is nothing, but to them is everything. Sound like a typical weirdo servant nigga. You, you, your mind hasn't elevated yet, so you think in your mind, getting this little trinkets, it's money. I don't care if I don't have no money in my pocket. That's not money when my life is on the line. That's not my money, and it's not money when I become a servant and a dog in them people's doghouse called the prison and jail systems. But y'all listening to these weird old fans, the same fans who watch all you niggas crash out. They love all the diss videos. They hype you niggas up. Oh, they with y'all, right? Woo, you seen that this? Woo! Right when you dumb niggas get arrested, who the first one to make mockery of your weird tell? The same nigga that was D-riding you? The same niggas that were clicking and watching and hyping you up? Niggas want to see the crash. That's why they love you crash outs. They want to see, who never wanted to see the crash? You go to a monster show, you want to see both monster trucks crash. You don't want to see one beat each other. You want to see one beat each other down. That's American society. That's the world we live in. That's what being human is. We're the most savage, savages of savages, these parts of the world, when it comes to America. And you little niggas already got caught. Shout out to that police chief, man. I'm sorry, I got kids out here. I'm not saying free my dog. You niggas say free everybody. You won't even say free your uncle who got arrested in 95, but you saying free one of these F boys. Nah, fuck y'all. They could keep y'all or y'all could get splat. Anything, bro. I don't care, bro. You niggas ain't good for my community. I'm a real black man. You niggas ain't good for my community. Get rid of them, most high. You say two-thirds of our people won't make it. I'm going to make it easy for you, most high. I don't want to die. But if you got to include me in that two-thirds that won't make it so my kids can have a better life, then get rid of me, too. Shit. Yeah, let's keep it real like that. Who wakes up to see this garbage every day? Niggas pants sagging all the way down. Niggas about to do an educational purpose gay porn video. Who, who knows what you're about to do, bruh? Pan, I can't take this nigga serious. I'm trying to talk business with this nigga. His mindset is that of a child. This nigga, 250 pounds of muscle. You talk to him. It's like you're reading the book of mice and men. You think he's about to give you a hug and kill you. That's how slow-witted the brain is of these niggas, bruh. Get rid of them, most high. I'm cool with that. That's what you do. What if I was at that hotel with my kids in the parking lot getting ready to come in? You don't think them shots would have hit us too? But you niggas want to... The same group of niggas defending these street niggas, defending these cancer cells, they the same niggas always crying about what the white man is doing. Crying about, oh, the cop done killed Pookie. Who gives a damn about Pookie, bro? I ain't getting into that. I don't worry about what the cops is doing. I worry about us cleaning up and uniting because soon as we do that, we can't be touched. But I already know during my lifetime, it won't happen. During my kid's lifetime, it won't happen. That shit demoralize you, bro. When you know this big, powerful force known as the melanated man and sister, so divided. Oh, shit, man, we're, we're even divided within our own communities of melanated people. You got this group of melanated people, we're this. This other ones in the diaspora, we're this. It, 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 we'll never get together, bro. The prophecies are real, bro. This is going to go on for at least another 3,000 years if the world is still here. Y'all think because we've been alive for 80 years or 90 years, you think that's a long time living. 
your genetic comp comp composition shows you that really the human anatomy is telling you we should live longer than this, bro. A man dies at 50 and 60 and we celebrate that. What is there to celebrate? His life was cut short. So imagine how I feel when these dudes is dying at, at 19, 23, 26 years old. That's, that's the brute force of your military force that's dying. These niggas dying in their teenage years and early 20s and we, we celebrate like, how, what, what force we have? And if we did have a military force, look at these niggas. Look at them. Would you join a force with these un... Disciplined, uncivilized niggas. I said it uncivilized. How can a man be uncivilized and his pants is falling down? He wants to be taken serious in society. I never be talking about pants sagging and all that, but let's keep it real. This mockery, bro. Like, I, I know where it started from, the institutions, and it was to, to be a male prostitute in the prison systems. You put your pants down to show you open for business. But I'm not going to even say all that. Just look at the de degeneracy, bro. How can any niggas take you type serious, bruh? How can I love a community when I see you monsters in it, bro? I stand on that, man. Shout out to that police chief. These niggas will get caught. I'm not helping them, but you know what it is, bruh. Even if I was, if I'm so cocky with you weird niggas, if I was one of you rat ass niggas, I'll have a big t-shirt that say I'm a rat. Any way you look at me wrong, I would call Jakes and them on you, bruh. Like, so that's one thing. How you don't see that in me, bro? I just don't do that because I feel like that's not my job to do that. But if there's people who want to do that, then go do a great job at it and clean up the streets. I'm going to clean up the streets this way because the message that I'm doing is more powerful than trying to do it by force. Because if you didn't see our people yet, force doesn't work. We need intervention through the most high with spiritual. This is a spiritual warfare. If you ain't mentally strong to prepare for this, we don't need you weak cowards in the way. Therefore, most high, deliver them away from us, man. Rest in peace to Fulio. Rest in peace to Young and Nation them family. Rest in peace to Duck. Rest in peace to Vaughn. Rest in peace to everybody. Rest in peace to Pop Smoke because his killers talking a lot of crap. The Most High doesn't care about age. Kill with the sword must be killed with the sword. Facts. Love your family. Love your kids. Stay blessed, man.